Hey guys, welcome to the sixth video of the walk around the TARDIS console panels and we're landing on the navigation panel. Now this panel is interesting and I kind of want to talk about it top to bottom about what's going on with this panel for me. But starting with, this is what it looks like. It is definitely a really interesting alien looking panel for the build. Uh, everything else has control panels and pieces and, and switches and lights. And this just mainly has a very well done cast molded sculpted piece that was inset with some cool lights to flash and blink and really adds to the fact that the TARDIS is an alien device and not a human paneled device. So obviously throughout the history of the show of having this particular console, you are left with the fact that uh, it wasn't really seen too much. Uh, most of the time the companions would definitely use the other ones with the clicking and the switches and the, you know, pulling the levers. Whereas this panel was, I can only really recollect maybe one, maybe two times that it was really focused on being used. And because of that, I think it just kind of was one of those pieces that just kind of was there for set deck after a while. Now, I think they did an amazing job. I think it looks really great. I think it really lends itself to the idea. However, I do have feelings about it and anything I have to say does not negatively reflect my feelings to the builders, the people who designed this. I just feel it felt like by the time you got around the five panels, uh, some ideas were lost or they ran out of thoughts about what to do with it or uh, they ran out of pieces to use. <laughs> I'm not sure. Uh, I just feel like the aesthetic of the console all the way around these five panels I've talked about just kind of vanished with the sixth panel. Now what's interesting is looking back at the previous panels of consoles all together from the beginning, you had a very uh, kind of industrial panel design right away. And it was really interesting, it was really cool. It really worked for the time. My first console that I saw was definitely the Tom Baker one, uh, that at least that I can remember. I, I, I was watching Prairie when I was you know, growing up, but I really remember the Tom Baker 80s one. And I just had so many interesting controls and they all had a very console industrial feel to it. In fact, my favorite console was the one that came in the middle of Tom's series there, right in the beginning where they had the wooden one with a very ruddy writer's desk and you know, um, kind of more laid out buttons, nothing really extravagant, no big switches, and it was just kind of compressed. And I loved it. I really loved that console room, especially. I could have used with a bigger console from that, which we did kind of get in the 96 movie. But again, with the 96 movie, I had a console that did have some interesting details. Now, right before we talk about that, though, is the fact that once we went from back from Tom Baker's wooden one to his back to his regular console, we went to a really high tech uh, late 80s, was it late 80s, early 80s uh, console that had just tons of buttons, tons of switches, tons of lights and screens, you name it, it was just everywhere. And I think that looked super industrial as it was as well. We went from that to the 96 movie, which gave us uh, some found parts, some some things that were kind of tactile that weren't just like created for this with, you know, gauges and some made up switches and whatnot. This was like kind of earthy in a way. When we jumped to the 2005 series, that's when we got very into the organic, hey, now it's a living organism. It's got branches coming out of it. It has a, has a, a, a features of it that just have more life to it. So the coral and, and the glowing lights. And there was a ton of console pieces on that that didn't really serve too much of a purpose. Uh, there were some buttons and switches and, and some real er man-made earthy, you know, uh, plane pieces and uh, computer bits and whatnot that uh, added to the console. I really like it. I really liked how they added those pieces in. Um, and then they went really along with the organic feel by having the pieces just not do. There was a prism on it. They didn't really have a super mean, meaning or need for it, but it was there. Uh, then they jumped to the new Matt Smith one, which I think just went way too far in that aesthetic. They had a ton of earth stuff, uh, you know, typewriters and switches and lights and throttles and just a bunch of weird stuff. I, it worked great for the time. I think it was really cool how it worked out, but at the time, it just felt like to me that it just went too far. I still had the coral aesthetic, the the actual living TARDIS feel to it, but I just feel like it went too far into the earth made thing. So that brings us to this console. And part of the reason I'm building this one is because it felt like they took the idea of the man-made pieces, the found parts, the uh, plane pieces, the random gadgets and switches, and they laid it out in a console-like fashion. These panels for the most part feel like something you would see at an editing bay or on a, on a console on a 
submarine, that kind of feel. Like, I really feel like they did it until we got to this one panel. So just that little bit of history, the reason, because it's all gonna play back to what I'm doing with it. So what I decided to do, since this is my least liked panel, and granted, if I wanna do a one-to-one -one replica, I would totally do this. I have the capabilities and the, the necessary know-how to do that now, but I don't want to. So I decided to take the idea of designing a panel myself. Put myself in that position to do something what I wanna do. And so what do you do in that regard? Well, you really have three choices. Choice number one is to obviously make that original console go for it, or take that original console, remove the rubber, rubber pieces and add some things in the middle there and go with it. Option number two would be to kind of like take some pieces from my love of sci-fi. So maybe add some TNG panels in there to have some L cars, you know, put a uh, Knight Rider scanner on the front going back and forth, that kind of thing. Like kind of integrate some of my loves, proton pack pieces, you name it, like all the things that I love, put something on there. That would be option two. Option three would be just completely put myself in the design aesthetic of the other five panels and come up with an idea that would really reflect the rest of them and yet still retain it looking like it's cohesive to this console. And so I kind of, I'm doing a three with a touch of two. <laughs> just, you know, just not in the middle, but kind of just a little leaning in. So I kind of wanted to share that. Now I've had a lot of different ideas over the years of looking at this. My initial idea, which I was going forward with, looked like this. And I had some parts and ideas that I had come up with and found these pieces and I wanted to include them. And this is what I did with them. Uh, one cool thing to mention right away is the fact that uh, by collecting a lot of these parts is I've got some wrong ones. I have got some close ones and I didn't know what to do with them. So I have them for this. So right away you can see some of my influences using this image here. And one thing I really wanted to do was bring home the idea of that favorite console I had prior to this one, because they're both kind of back and forth between which one's my favorite now, uh, between this one and the one I'm building. And uh, I really like the panels that had like those uh, square, colored lights, they click and they turn on and off. So I decided to make a panel for that and everything else was just kind of extra pieces that I've got, whether from panel uh, donations to myself or to parts I found online. So this was the idea and I liked it until now. <laughs> so uh, I decided I'm gonna show you guys some of these parts up close, even the ones you saw in the photos there, just so you can kind of see. Uh, and also I'm gonna show where I'm currently at it's already evolved this morning of making this video. I had some ideas and I changed everything. So, so let's not get a, kind of ahead of myself here. Let's talk about pieces that I can, I'm just gonna kind of roll them out to you guys so you can kind of see where I'm thinking about it and why I'm using them. And uh, let me know what you think of these. First thing I wanna talk about is the keyboard. So I mentioned that I got the big metal sheet with the keyboard pieces in it look like this. It's a big dense piece, but it's helped me kind of see how the layout of the actual pieces need to be because I was able to copy the holes cut in this that I'm gonna be using for the new build as well. But using those keys to make the keyboard in that previous panel allowed there to be a ton of extra ones, believe it or not. There are a lot of keys that weren't used and that's these guys. So. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this bank here and this bank here in two different spots and then this bank right here near the top. This bank here has CRT monitors. So CRT one, two, three, four, I figured it'd be a great spot for the top of that build. And then I got all of these, which I've put in a kind of like design to try and make it work. I may change how that looks, we'll see. And then this panel here has the remove earth button, which I wanna kind of put in the door. So that panel that you see on the bottom right now is gonna have those buttons just like I wanted before, but I'm gonna have like a kind of a door, like a wooden desk door, just like that console. Hopefully it works out. If it doesn't, well, then I'll just leave it off. But I figured that'd be a fun thing to have in there, some function buttons and whatnot. But I just, I love the idea of using up these pieces, even though they're not used, I, I can find use for them and I think they look really cool. Plus they have some really cool um, buttons to them. So let me know what you think of that. I'm really excited about these to be honest. Next up is another found piece that I've had for a lot of years and that is this guy, this joystick. I would like to find a spot for this and I'm really thinking about doing that in there at a couple different spots. Uh, it's got a nice clicky motion to it. It's got this like sliding piece here. Um, has some oil still on it, but yeah, I just figured having some sort of joystick there would be kind of fun. I don't know if I like it or not. We'll see when I get to it, uh, what I think of this, because right in the middle, uh, regardless of how I do this, I am gonna construct a couple pieces that are like the vintage ones, which you'll see in a minute here, because I have some knobs for it, of those vintage, you know, arc sliders, levers that they have on the old consoles. I'm gonna integrate those into my own build. I also have a couple of these. Now, these came off of a panel that was donated to me, and they are 
uh, phase current switches and they just have like a, they, they, they fight you until you get to that switch. So I think they're just kind of fun. Um, I'm not 100% sure what they actually do, but I love the fact that it's got this nice metal plate. It's used, it's old looking, and I got two of them so I can really kind of play off of them. What's really neat is both of them are just a little different in their typography and such, so I think they'll be kind of a fun thing to have on both sides if I decide to, or at the very least just one. Speaking of random things, I have these, which you're gonna see obviously in my pictures there of my new layout. They are, there's a DC current and I guess a battery breaker as well. Both of them do something different. They're all breakers and the bet they have a red push button. Again, just a little thing, but it's got this plate on it. Just makes it look kind of like it does something. I'm not sure if they'll ever actually do anything, but in this case, they're just gonna be kind of there for decoration for sure. I have three gauges that I really like to put at the top. I'm not sure which ones I'm gonna use. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use these for anything particular one way or the other, but I have this one, which I do really like. It's a DATCON elapsed time. Uh, gauge, which come on, elapsed time, that's kind of cool. So I may do that and have like a mileage meter running. I also have a frequency meter and a AC meter. Very vintage looking, very cool looking. Um, again, these might be things if I, if I can't find a spot for on my build, I'm either gonna use them for something else or I'll let them go uh, to anyone who's building something that they want something a little custom with because they're kind of cool. Here's my bag full of buttons, which basically just has a bunch of these color buttons. And I'm pretty stoked for these because they work. I don't know if they're the exact same ones that are used in the one and the original, but they look enough like it that the reference is there. And that is such a satisfying click. <laughs> and I have the whole, whole bank of colors. And what's really fun is I actually found some gauges that looked a lot like the gal galvometer on the other panel, and that's these guys. Now they're both different as well. One's a voltmeter and one's an amp meter. And I just think they're really neat and they match the other build one, so the other panel one. So putting them on there, I think will kind of make it, uh, you know, simpatico. Is that the word I want to use? Simpatico with the other panel. Again, having these little elements like the keyboard pieces and these gauges and things just kind of relate to the panels, make it feel like it belongs. At least I, that's the hope and idea. Here is the switches I have that are going to be the ones that you be on the little lever slides. Again, they look very vintage. They're, they are, you know, they're bake light switches. So hopefully that they fit really well. They have the same design as the originals, but also I like my knobs on another panel. So again, given that kind of look, that kind of matches through and I'm really happy with them really. They're just kind of super simple and small. Now I've mentioned them previously, I do have a bunch of these that I got from that panel uh, that was donated to me. So it looks like I have five or so. So I may be including these in that. I'm not sure, but I think there'll be a nice little element just to throw in there. Cause I think they're kind of cool. They have texture, they have life, they have longevity to them that I think, hey, why not put them in there? I have these switches. These switches are really fun. There's a bunch of different colors. Uh, they are a round click switch. They got a nice little satisfying little, these I hopefully will have light up when they're activated as they should be. And then they'll be underneath, according to my drawing here. These are the ones that'll be underneath the gauges. I think they'll be kind of cool. I think they're just, you know, as you click across. I'm looking forward to doing that click, click, click. That's gonna be my whole life for a while, just walking past this thing and clicking it. Some of the stuff I have is pretty random. I like, I do have like in an anodized red thing that I am gonna try and include on there somehow. Uh, again, to reference the red anodized things that are all across. I also have a bunch of knobs. Now these knobs are really cool. They are made in the UK. They are simple potentiometer ones. I got them in mistake for another panel. And I think they're kind of cool. I may use these, I may not. We will see. Again, these will be available if they're not what I'm looking for. These knobs I got because they're just so cool. Uh, they have red on them. They have like a little arrow. They're just kind of neat. I have four of them with the idea that I could just use them for fun. So aside from switches and, and other things, uh, like I don't have everything I'm gonna put on this console. I've got some open space. My idea is that if I don't have something to fit there that I want, I'm going to create it. So like the levers, like the classic ones, I have been playing with the idea of having a made by myself, uh, like radar panel or navigational panel that I can get the chicken uh, switches and just kind of put them all on there and some other switches to make it look like a military uh, panel. Part of me wants to do that. The other part of me wants to actually just find something that will fit there because if I find something, then it's, then it's got that feel of antique and used piece. So 
we'll see. I, I, I'm so, this is like the, gonna be the last panel I need to worry about because I'm gonna have some things in it that have to be there and some things I'm just gonna add as I go. Uh, just because it's gonna be fun, it's gonna be more interesting. Hey, I found this thing at a, at a yard sale or at an antique shop, let's put it on the console somewhere. So we will see what I do with that. Some of these pieces are for sure as they're going on there because they're just so dang cool, like the keyboard keys and using those to relate to the other panels. But otherwise, guys, if you have any suggestions, what should I put on this? Is, should I put some other classic TARDIS parts on this build? Should I put some other uh, very specific things? Should I put L cars hidden somewhere on there? Would that be cool? Would that be fun? Or would it be dumb? I don't know. So <laughs> let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, I, this is gonna be fun. This is gonna be a really fun panel to design and I'm happy to share as I come up with things. Next couple of videos uh, next week, hopefully uh, if my mail comes in like it should, uh, I will have updates of for you guys for parts I've discovered since we started doing these videos. So there'll be a few videos of that uh, before the weather gets nicer in Vancouver to get started on the build, the process itself. So guys, let me know down in the comments below what you think. What do you guys think of the navigational panel? I'm actually really interested to hear your thoughts on it. Do you like the rubber molded one? Do you think I'm silly for making my own panel? Or do you think, hey, that panel was really terrible. I'm glad you're changing it up. So let me know down below what you guys think of that. I'm really interested in hearing from you on that. But guys, thank you so much for liking, subscribing. Thanks for coming along with me on this, going around all six panels. I know it's a lot in a little bit of larger videos, but I really appreciate you uh, keeping up with me and watching it all this. I can't wait to share more. But guys, thank you so much for watching.